Everybody, welcome to our Steelers Nation Unite Weekly Huddle presented by Hyundai. I'm Missy Matthews. Happy to be joined today by head coach Mike Tomlin, fresh off the practice field. You guys beat the rain today. Yeah, work with us today. Uh, we'll see what tomorrow holds. Uh, you know me, I don't care too much about what the conditions are. As long as it's not lightning, uh, we'll pretty much play in anything. All right, sounds good. If you would like to ask a question today, please press star three. We have tons of them right now, so we're going to jump right in. Coach, our first one is from Sandy. She's in Pensacola. Sandy, you're now live. Go ahead and ask your question. Sandy? Sandy, are you there? All right, I think we... I am. I'm sorry. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm here. Okay, go I'm ahead, sorry. Sandy. Um, first off, um, my ex is a huge, huge fan, and he was actually killed in the um, mass shooting in Titanic, Pennsylvania, so our prayers is to them and their family, and hopefully you guys get one for him this year. Um, but what do you anticipate um, for the chemistry of the team now? Because I know there's veterans and there's also rookies coming in. How do you think that's all going to play out? Then go Steelers. Uh, great question. You know, um, you know, really, that's, that's what we're developing here as we start this process of work. Um, you know, chemistry is something that develops over time through, through mutual respect and work. And uh, the guys have done a great job in working in that area um, to this point, not only in terms of the formal work that we do, um, but also the guys do a great job of giving of themselves and their time, particularly to the young people, educating them and introducing them to what is still a football. Um, I, know big, I know Cam Hayward had a big pool party at his house last Friday uh, and welcomed a lot of the young people. Uh, those are the things that, that, that we acknowledge you can't measure uh, but are a big part of, of team development, and we openly uh, work in those areas. All right, our next question is coming from New York. Rosina, you're now live. Go ahead and ask Coach your question. Hi, Coach Tomlin. Um, thank you for taking my call. Glad to. Now that the Pittsburgh Penguins have won the Stanley Cup, are you feeling extra pressure for the Steelers to win their Super Bowl? You know, I probably will, will do a lot of things to feel the extra pressure. Um, I, I like the extra pressure. Anything that pushes the chips toward the middle of the table, um, I'm excited that, that, that the Pens pulled it out. Uh, man, they represent us well, Western PA, Pittsburgh. Uh, I, I hope to join them and uh, look forward to meeting that challenge. All right, our next question is Frederick in San Antonio, Texas. Frederick, you're now live. Go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, Mike Thompson, I was wondering, are we going to play a lot more man defense this year? And if so, how is that going to affect some of the, the older players? You know, really, we just want to have the ability to, 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 to do all things. We think at certain points in time, we're going to have to lean on man to man. At certain points in time, we have to lean on zone and pressure and so forth. Uh, in order to be world champs and to be a world championship caliber defense, we're going to have to be able to do all things relatively well. Um, that's been an area of focus of needed improvement for us, but it doesn't mean that uh, that's all that we're going to do. Um, guys that have skill sets capable of helping us, whether they're man defenders or zone defenders, uh, they'll be given an opportunity to earn a spot. All right, again, if you'd like to ask Coach a question, please press star three. We have tons of people um, just listening online. An online question we're going to get to, Coach, this is from Steve Lloyd. He wants to do rapid-fire questions. So right. here we go. Dog or cat? Dog. Early bird or late owl? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Offense or defense? D. Pass or run? Run. Fumble recovery or interception? In a, interception. Okay. Renegade or we are the champions? Renegade. All right. Okay, again, star three if you'd like to ask a question. We'll try to get to another online one as well. Let's go now to Rebel in Nebraska. You're now live. Go ahead and ask que Coach your question. Uh, yes, Coach, what do you think uh, J.J. Watts brings to our defense this year? You know, um, you know, I think we're discovering that as we get to know him. Uh, he's a talented guy. Obviously, that's why we drafted him in the first round. Uh, but, you know, a lot of skill sets that guys show in college um, change a little bit to a certain degree when they get to Sunday ball. Uh, we're excited to, to watch him grow. Uh, I think we're just scratching the surface in terms of what he's going to bring us, and I'm excited about that. Um, he appears to be a sharp guy and an aware guy even to this point. Um, he bats a lot of passes and things of that nature. I, I, I believe at the end of the day he's going to bring us a well-rounded game uh, at the outside linebacker position. 
All right, and we just want to let you guys know during today's event, we're going to be giving away this sideline game-worn hat from Coach Tomlin. It is uh, definitely game-worn. I can see some sweat marks. So stay tuned for that one. Lucky caller will get that. Back to your questions. This is from someone in Virginia. I'm sorry I do not have your name, but you are now live. Go ahead and ask Coach your question and tell us your name, please. Hey, it's uh, Usman calling here from Virginia. I had the uh, pleasure of attending uh, uh, December 25th Raven game. Um, I actually got to be on the field thanks to Steeler Nation Unite. Um, so, got a question, Coach. Um, sure. um, so, who's looking better this far, Juju or Martavius? You know, I really hadn't looked at it in that way to this point. Uh, both guys have had their moments. Um, I'm not ready to stack, you know, a lot of times, particularly at the wide receiver position, guys can look good uh, in shorts, and then when you add the physicality element of the game, it changes. So uh, stay tuned, man. See you in Latrobe. All right. Our next question is from Chris in Connecticut. You're now live. Chris, go ahead and ask your question. Hi, Coach Tomlin. Uh, thank you for taking my call. No I problem. Know, are you excited about our draft picks that we got uh, in the NFL draft? Uh, you know, I really am. Um, you know, I was excited when, when we, uh, we took the young men on draft weekend, but um, I can honestly say I'm more excited after having spent uh, over a month or so with them. Uh, it, it's a legitimately humble and focused group. Uh, they ask good questions. Uh, they don't appear to know it all, and uh, that's a great place to begin. All right, very quickly, we want to get to our poll question for you guys. Will you be attending a training camp practice this summer in Latrobe? Press 1, yes, I've already made my plans. Press 2, if no, not this summer, can't make it. Or press 3, if you're not sure yet but are hoping to. And we'll remind you of that poll question a little bit later. Back to your questions, though, however, next up is Steven in Florida. You are now live. Go ahead and ask your question, please. Hi, Mike Tomlin. How are you? Great. How about you? I'm just excited to uh, be able to talk to you. Um, well, I, I'm just letting you know that my son is, uh, is going to be born soon, and hey, he's going to be a Steelers fan from day one. He has <laughs> hey, little hey that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I just want uh, to ask you about how you think how uh, Roethlisberger is going to be doing this season and if we have a backup for if he would happen to get hurt and who his backup would be. You know, uh, Ben's in great shape. Uh, he's having a great offseason. Um, and really, he came into the offseason in really good physical health. And I really think that's a that's the key for him. Uh, he was fortunate enough to come into the offseason uh, injury-free. And I think uh, when you're able to do that, then you're able to uh, recuperate and build as opposed to rehab. Uh, so he's in a good spot from that standpoint. Um, we're really confident in Landry. That's why we re-signed him in free agency. Um, he was able to win some games for him in that, win some games for us in that capacity in the past. Uh, we're comfortable that he's going to be able to continue to do that. Uh, he'll get challenged here at some point, I'm sure, by young talent like Josh Dobbs. I don't know that he's ready to compete just yet. Uh, he's really kind of in the learning phase, uh, but we're really comfortable with with the play of the position, uh, specifically the the growth and development of Landry Jones. All right, back to one more online question. This one is from Mandy. She wants to know what your pregame ritual was in postgame. You know, um, I don't know that I have a pregame ritual. Uh, I'm usually caught up in the pregame ritual of others. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you're in my position, uh, I'm often included in the pregame ritual of others. So usually I check off other people's boxes in that way. Uh, I try to keep it pretty loose. Um, you know, I, I probably was more ri more ri ritualistic as a player uh, than, I, than I am as a coach. All right. Let's go back to the phone line. Jordan is joining us. Gordon, excuse me, is joining us from the U.K. Go ahead and ask your question, please. Good evening, Coach, from the United Kingdom. <laughs> Good <you> evening. <laughs> Thank you for what you have done for the team since 2007. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Do you, do you feel the team is now good enough to finish the job this season? You know, I do. Um, you know, and, and I say that because not, not because of the guys that you know and the familiar names. Uh, I really just feel good about the quality, depth, and competition that we have. And I think, you know, that's probably what's utmost important this time of year. 
Um, it's not about who the eventual 53 may be or who the headline players may be. Uh, we're working with 90 guys right now. Um, we have an opportunity to be the strongest team that we can be when we walk into Latrobe with the strongest 90 that we can walk into Latrobe with. And I really feel good about it from that perspective. We're going to have great depth and competition. And I think that's going to make us all better and really set the stage uh, for what it is you're talking about. All right, and a quick reminder, our keyword for today, very appropriate, it is coach. So you can head to SteelersNationUnite.com on the homepage, enter the keyword coach. That's good until Sunday. Back to your questions. This is from Dante in Baltimore. Hopefully a Steelers fan, Dante. Go ahead and ask your question. Dante, are you there? Yes. Dante, what's going on? <laughs> All right, how you doing? Great, great. Well, I want to know, is the rookie lineback is going to be – is James Harris going to train the rookie lineback the way he be affected in the game? You know, you know the way that James uh, plays is unique, and it's, and it's really kind of unique to James. He is one of those unique animals. Um, he's shorter than most. Um, I think that's helped him from a leverage standpoint. Obviously, uh, he's stronger than just about everybody on the planet. Um, he's able to do things because of those measurables that a lot of guys aren't able to do. Um, he's going to help the young guys in terms of developing, and I'm sure he's going to share his tricks of the trade. But ultimately, I think those guys have to uh, work to their skill set and work to the things that are going to allow them to be successful. Uh, James is just a very unique animal physically in a lot of ways. All right, we want to remind you to check out the Steelers Authentic Memorabilia section at shop.steelers.com. Tons of cool stuff there. As we mentioned, we're giving away this game-worn sideline hat from Coach Tomlin, and that lucky winner is Amy. You are live now, Amy, so you're going to win the hat. We have your phone number. We'll contact you, but you also get to ask Coach a question. Yes. Um, actually, most of my questions have been asked, so I'm going to change that up. Oh, sure. I read right. somewhere that the Steelers, hi, that the Steelers are one, if not the only team, uh, at least one of the only teams that has a, a mini camp for new players on how to act in the NFL, um, what to do with your money, um, and have family members come in and say, just because your kid got a big contract now, you know, how to invest it, um, how to deal with women. Um, is that true? Um, you know, I don't speak speak for others, but that is very much what it is that we do. Um, we believe very much in that. Um, when we draft a young man, we're committed to his growth and development, not only in terms of football, uh, but in all aspects of his life. Um, oftentimes, we fail to remember that these are young people, and they're not only transitioning from being amateurs to professional athletes, but in most cases, they're transitioning from being dependents to independents. And uh, we all remember what that's about. So uh, we try to help him in as many ways as we can. All right. An online question here from Heather Coach. She wants to know, what has been your best experience during your career with Steelers Nation? Wow. Um, man, it's been so many of those moments. You know, I, I, I really think, you know, when we are in a hostile away environment and, and Steelers Nation takes over, that never gets old. Um, you can think about 2008 Monday Night Football in Washington. You can think about uh, just a few years ago on Monday Night Football, I think, in San Diego. Um, when we're in a hostile environment uh, and we feel still a nation and the, and the home team is having to use silent counts and things of that nature, um, that's something that just doesn't happen. Uh, that's something that's unique to still a nation. Um, it never gets old. It's, it's, it's unimaginable. All right, we're going to get to one more final question. Just a quick reminder, the keyword is coach. You can enter that on the homepage until Sunday. Our poll question, we want to know, will you be attending a training camp practice this summer? If you will be there, you already made your plans, press 1. Press 2, if no, you're not able to make it. Press 3, if you're not sure but hoping to, and we do hope we'll see you there. But to our final question, Adrian, you are now live. Go ahead and ask your question, please. Good afternoon, Coach. First and foremost, I'd like to say I'm a huge fan, not only of you and the Steelers, but we do share the same fraternity as well. Oh, Captain <laughs> Alpha said, in the building. What's up, Newt? <laughs> you got it, Newt. Can't wait for conclave. You know it. 
I have a question. <laughs> Talk to me. With everything, with everything that the moves that's been made throughout the off season, picking up new players in the draft, the, losing a few players, where do you feel our greatest weakness is that you need to address? You know, um, I, I really don't know at this juncture. Um, and the reason I say that is uh, some of the new pieces that we've acquired, whether it's uh, veteran free agents or draft picks, I don't know enough about them and what their contributions might be at this juncture. So, you know, more than anything, I'm in a teach my mindset right now. Um, I think that some of those things are going to be revealed to us and revealed to us really quickly uh, once we get to Latrobe. But we got some new contributors in a lot of spots. Uh, the running back position, for example, uh, we got James Conner in the draft, but we also have Niles Davis in free agency. Um, and the same thing can be said in the secondary. We got some talented young corners uh, and Cam Sutton in BA, but we also acquired uh, Cody Sensabaugh in free agency, who's looked look really impressive this spring. So until we get a totality of what these new guys, both veteran and rookies, are capable of, um, it's really tough to assess what strengths and weaknesses are at this juncture. Hopefully the weaknesses are minimal. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us today on the Steelers Nation Unite Weekly Huddle presented by Hyundai. Coach, thanks for your time. Always great to have you on here as well. Don't forget, the keyword is coach. We'll see you next time, everybody.